Hello guys and welcome back to the vlog. It is a super exciting week for me because I am going on vacation this weekend. I'm not gonna say where I'm going yet because I don't know when this vlog will be posted, but let's just say it's somewhere tropical and I'm very, very excited. We're gonna be there for a whole week, I think seven days or six days, something like that. Um, so it's really exciting, but it was kind of a last minute, but not last minute vacation in a way. Like I knew it was coming for the past like two weeks, but I just have not had time to plan for it at all. So we are leaving, today's Wednesday, we're leaving on Friday. I have nothing planned. I have no outfits. I have not packed a single thing. I don't know what I'll be packing. I need to get my nails done. I need to get my hair done. Um, well, I actually don't need to get my hair done, but I already had an appointment, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna skip that. I need to get my eyebrows done. Have to do my like last minute run to Target for all the travel sized items because I always bring a carry on bag and never a checked luggage. So have to get all the little like mini bottles for everything and like who knows what else. Um, so yeah, I thought I would take you guys along to see like what my vacation prep looks like and I'm also going to be doing a separate vlog on the actual vacation, what to do, where to stay, all that fun stuff. So stick with me here because it is going to be a really, really exciting week and a half. <laughs> Stop number one of vacation prep is Ulta. I always come to the Benefit Brow Bar here to get my eyebrows done. Um, and I'm just gonna get a wax and tint today. And I might look around to see if there's anything I need. All right, eyebrows are done and they look perfect. I love getting my eyebrows tinted because then I don't actually have to do them because I am directionally challenged when it comes to doing my eyebrows. So getting them done just always makes them feel so nice. And when I have makeup on, it'll look even better. Um, I did not get a new foundation while I was in there. I honestly didn't have enough time to like actually look at everything that they had um but i did grab the color wow dream coat on my way out um only because i know it's gonna be so hot where i'm going and my hair is going to be suffering so hopefully with this we'll stop the frizz a little bit and yeah so that's i just grabbed that i didn't grab their extra strong one because honestly i didn't see that much of a difference when i tried this one compared to the extra strong so i just grabbed their little one and it's like a travel size so it's perfect and yeah i have a tiny bit of time before my nail appointment so i'm gonna go to a coffee shop and just sit by and chill for a little bit um and then i'm gonna go get my nose done. i still have to decide what i want to get done i don't know if i want to do a pop of color i've been wanting red for a while but I also, every time that I do color on my nails, I end up hating it. Like, I like it in the moment, but a week later, I'm like, please get these off my nails. So, I don't know what I want to get done just yet. I'll have to look at Pinterest while I'm sitting at that coffee shop and kind of decide what vibe we're going with. It's a little bit later. I am about to walk into my nail appointment, and I think I've decided what i want to do it was i was debating between like doing red like a harvard red or going a little bit more neutral and i think we're gonna stick to the more neutral side um so then i decided we're gonna do like that pearl kind of look on the nails and it was between two options it was between i don't know if you guys can even see that but this like pinkish base and then just a nude base and i texted both of these to my friend and she said to go with the nude because that gave more like island tropical vibes i guess to her so that's what we're gonna go with um and then i think i have also decided i am gonna make an attempt at going to the mall after this appointment because originally i was just gonna do target because i do still need to get all the like travel sized like shampoos conditioners all that fun stuff um so i'm still gonna stop at target but i have nothing to pack for this trip i didn't pack plan outfits didn't plan anything um, and I had been looking on the Target website. There's a couple things that have popped up from like other people's TikToks of some cute like summer dresses that Target has that I still do want to go look at. But I think I'm just going to have better luck overall going to the mall and like trying to drop it into American Eagle and Aerie and like all those kind of stores. I just think there's going to be a lot more options there. So we're going to try going there hopefully. I don't think this nail appointment is going to take too long. I'm not getting a pedicure. It's just the manicure. So hopefully we can get out of here and get to the mall at least an hour or two before it closes but i'm about to go in gonna get these bad boys done and then i'll show you guys what they look like afterwards 
Here is what the nails ended up looking like. They are so cute, but that took way longer than I expected. It is already 7.22 and the mall closes at 9 and it's about 15 minutes away. So that means I'm only going to have about an hour or so, a little bit over an hour to try to find something. And Target closes at 10. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do both of them today. I might have to run to Target tomorrow morning, like super early in the morning, like first thing, because I do still work tomorrow. So like, bleh. I just didn't give myself enough time to really worry about this. And I would have, I, the plan was to go to Target yesterday, but then I ended up being sick yesterday and I was like literally in bed all day. So there was not a chance that I was going to make it over there. So I'm just really hoping that I find some cute choices at the mall so that I don't even have to look at the clothes at Target and I could just grab like all the little um, travel size things that I need instead of having to try things on and like, you know, do that whole process. So get to run over to the mall now. Fingers crossed that we find some cute things there. I came to the mall at Melania and every time I'm in this mall, I feel so poor because it's all designer stuff in here. All right, I'm gonna go into H&M first. It looks like they have a lot of cute little summer sets and linen, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So hopefully we'll find something cute in here. I was able to find so many options to try on. So hopefully something in this pile will work. I'll do a full haul when I get home, but I did get some stuff from H&M, and I'm gonna run into Forever 21 really quickly. Forever 21 is really leaning into the full, like, glam cowgirl aesthetic that's going on right now. So if you've been looking for some cheapish cowgirl boots, this is the place. I love the look of this dress, but they only have it in a small. I'm so sad. Last stop before we leave is American Eagle. I look like a hot mess, but the mall was not a complete failure. I did find some cute things at an H&M that I bought, but the one thing that I have in my head that I really want, I don't know why I keep using my phone. The one thing that I have in my head that I really want is like a long flowy dress and all the ones that H&M had were just like really stiff looking. Um, so I'm really, really, really hoping that Target has something. I We're just like crossing our fingers. I also need to find um, like a nice crossbody that's big enough to hold my camera and that zips because the only one that I have that really can fit my camera is not a zipper and so I'm just afraid of it like opening and like something falling out or like you know you just never know so gonna run to Target there's a Target literally two minutes away they close at 10 so I have an hour to look around and I'm really just hoping we find everything we need because if not I don't know what I have in my closet like I just I don't think my closet has stuff you know it's just not giving the vibe that I want. Also, like, I just look like a mess. I, I'm tired. I need to go home and, like, shower, but we're going to do this last stop and really just hope for the best. Last stop of the night, thankfully. I was just at Target last week looking at bathing suits, and there was one that I loved that they didn't have in my size, and I was hoping that this location had it, but it doesn't look like it. I'm so sad. I'm really liking this as an option for the crossbody bag. It has a zipper. It has a full strap in it, and she's kind of cute they also have it in white which i like low-key like more but i just think this will get dirty really easily they also have this option but i think i like the other one a little bit better if this wasn't such a heavy material it would be so cute for the beach but it's literally so heavy and i already know that i'm gonna hate my life if i get it i've seen these dresses all over tiktok and i can't decide if i like it or hate it they have the pink in my size, which is my favorite color. So I don't know. I might try it on. I'll try it on just to see what we think. I just think this is the wrong vibe. I just got home, so I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a haul of everything I bought. I know I showed you 
um, everything as I was trying it on in H&M, but I only bought a couple of the things that I ended up trying on, so I wanted to show you guys. So first thing I did get was the white dress. This one actually looked really cute. The only thing as I was trying it on that maybe looked awkward was the shoulders, just because they're a little tight, so I didn't tighten them enough while I was trying it on, but I do think it'll be really cute, and it's like nice and short. There's this one spot where we're going, or where we're thinking about going, that's like this fully like pink, I don't even know what it's called, it's like a pink alley or like, I don't really know, but I think it'll look really cool in there because with like the white dress and then everything else around me being pink. That's what I was hoping to get the long flowy dress for. I wanted two long flowy dresses. I wanted one for that street and then one um, for one of the areas that we're going is like nice, like historic area. So I thought it would be really cute there, but didn't end up finding that. So I think this one though will work for that pink street because it'll pop. Um, and then I did get the little linen shorts. I don't have any shorts, so I needed to get some shorts anyways. Yeah, I don't have any shorts, so I needed to get some shorts anyways, so I just grabbed these little linen ones. I have a couple of tops that I think could look cute with this. I'm thinking just like doing a like casual outfit for this one. Um, just a basic top, some sunnies, maybe fix it up with some jewelry, I don't know. Uh, but just really, really basic for that one. And then the last thing that I got from H&M was the blue dress. I thought this one was so cute. And I realized that unintentionally, I kept picking up white and blue. And then as I was driving home, oh, that's the back. It's the one with the cute ties. As I was driving home, I also remembered I have another blue dress. It's like a dark blue that I was gonna bring on this trip. So I think the vibes are just just white and blue. That's I unintentionally did that. And then from Target, I ended up getting the purse, which I think is going to be perfect to fit my camera in. And it like zips up at the top. It also has a little pocket on the back for any like easy access things. And it has a ton of pockets on the inside. There's that one there and then there's an actual like zipper pocket. So I think this will be perfect. All I really need to fit in this is my camera and my wallet. So I think this is the perfect size and it's like, I don't know. I think it's cute. I think it'll go with a lot of things. So I actually just like it in general. I probably would have ended up buying this eventually anyways. Um, and then as far as like travel stuff, um, I just got some little packs of Advil. I get the worst headaches, so I always like to travel with these. I also got just a little travel toothpaste because we were out of our travel toothpaste like size stuff. I got some sunscreen. I know I will definitely need more sunscreen before the end of the trip, but figured this could at least get us a third of the way there. And then last but not least, I got a brush to do some slick back wigs with um, because I have been using my regular brush and if you've seen me do a slick back, you'll notice that I always have gaps. So I finally just went and got a brush for it and that was it. I realized as I was going through that aisle that I actually have a lot of travel size things at home already um, because I have like the refillable containers for like my shampoo and my conditioner um, and like soap and all that stuff. So only had to get a couple of things and yeah, so that is basically it. We still have a couple things to do tomorrow. I have to do some laundry in the morning. Have to actually pack because even though we don't leave till Friday, we're leaving tomorrow night to Fort Lauderdale. I don't know if I already said that, but that's where we're flying out of. So um, still got a couple things and then I'm doing my hair tomorrow night. So yeah, but I'm really excited. We're one, two more sleeps before this trip, which is just so exciting. I love it. I love traveling. Hello guys, it is... Thursday now, uh, so next day, and I am fully panicking because I thought I would have so much time today to pack and like clean my house a little bit, get my life together. Um, that has not been the case. I've been working all day, like nonstop. Still have more work to do, and I have to leave for my hair appointment in about an hour. And so yeah, I think I'm gonna end up having to take my laptop to my hair appointment and like work during that just because I've been so busy and I need to like actually pack because the idea is that we're going to like I'm gonna go to this appointment come back and literally hop in the car and leave right away to Fort Lauderdale which is where we're flying out of so I'm not gonna have time to pack when I get home I'm not gonna have time tomorrow like everything needs to get done today so that's what we're doing thankfully I do already have this like I never unpacked this from the Volcano Bay weekend so I just have to go through and make sure there's nothing in here that is 
like too big to travel with because I'm only doing a carry-on so obviously there's like size restrictions on stuff um so that's the only thing with this bag but I don't think I think maybe just like a couple things in here are too big I'm also not gonna bring every single thing just because I know myself and I know that I'll do like my skincare half the time that I'm there so I'm gonna take up some precious space on that ignore the mess but this is the current situation right now there are so many things that are in the laundry that I am waiting on that I'm just gonna throw in here because I do not know what I want to wear what the vibes are I did not plan this very well and I have to leave in like 10 minutes so I'm gonna start packing this all into my bag right now gonna check to see if the laundry is done and like pull some stuff out and then honestly Nathan's gonna have to finish packing for me because there's like no way update i was not able to finish packing and i have to run out right now so nathan is gonna finish packing for me i'm about to send him a list like when i get to my appointment of everything he needs to find in the washer everything that needs to get put into my bag um and he's just gonna do it for me because i literally have no time i have to run out right now i look like a hot mess but good thing is it doesn't matter because i'm gonna get my hair done it's really sad that like he has to do that it's like kind of annoying to be honest but usually i'm a really great last minute packer like i always pack right before I leave and I have no problems with it because it's usually really quick. The problem this time is that I didn't have any outfits planned and even some of the things that I bought yesterday, I retried them on like the shorts that I bought, I thought they were really cute yesterday in the store and I put them on just now and I hated them. They like looked long and awkward and I was just panicking because then I'm like trying to figure out outfits and like we have different things that we're doing on different days that we have planned so like I was trying to decide like what goes good when and like it was just a whole mess so basically I'm packing everything I'm 100% over packing for this trip everything in my closet is getting thrown in there and it just it just is what it is and he's just gonna do that for me so I'm gonna run out to my appointment right now and hopefully by the time I'm done he'll have my stuff packed his stuff packed the one good thing that I did get to do beforehand was get the cats all set up we're doing a babysitter for them or a cat sitter for them um and I did like set all their stuff up exactly like how it needs to be i put all the stuff out for the cat sitters like wrote down instructions and i already met them earlier this week so it was like awesome they already have the instructions and they're like a really great team so i'm not worried about it but i got them all situated so at least on that front i am not worrying about it. i'm just stressed i hate this last minute stuff but it just is what it is made it to my appointment thankfully with some time to spare so didn't need to rush all the way here Taylor literally kills it every single time. I had messaged her um, a couple of weeks ago and I basically was like, I don't think my hair is black enough because we always do glosses and not like an actual dye. And so she was like, well, we can dye it and then it'll definitely look black to you. And it does, I am obsessed with it. I keep looking at myself in the mirror because it, it just looks so good. I love it. I love, love the black. I don't know when I switched from being like a, I want everything to be light and like airy, which I still kind of do. But like now so many of my things are turning black like my car is black i used to have a white car and like my laptop is now black like everything is just like i don't know what i turned this way but i i'm obsessed is my point i'm gonna stop to get gas because we have our three hour drive to fort lauderdale now and then we should be on our way i just called nathan and he said he was able to find pretty much everything that i like sent him a list of, of things that i needed so we should be pretty much packed hopefully fingers crossed or maybe like one or two things that i still need to like throw in my bag but like that's fine that should be really quick um so yeah we are almost there one more sleep till vacation hello i realize this vlog is all over the place and it is a huge mess i have no idea how i'm even gonna edit this but it is midnight we have made it to fort lauderdale i am at my sister's house now nathan was able to finish packing for me and like I literally got home from the hair salon and we just like ran out of there and have been in the car for the past three hours. Um, but it's midnight. We have gotten here. We're tired. We're going to go to bed and then we're going to be up at the airport bright and early tomorrow morning. I think we're trying to get there by like 9, 9.30ish. So just a moment of a day. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I'm going to start a new vlog for the actual vacation. So I hope you guys come back to watch that one. Thank you so much for watching. If you managed to stay all the way to the end uh, because i know this one was a mess but yeah thank you guys so much and i will see you guys on vacation bye guys